sorry about that, babe. What's up guys and welcome back to another Bits Plays. This time we're going to be doing our first ever full playthrough of the Final Fantasy Legend on the Nintendo Game Boy. Uh, to my knowledge, this is the first game in the Saga series. Uh, I have no knowledge of the series really beyond Saga Frontier. Many, many moons ago, my old neighbor Kyle and I, I'm pretty sure that he rented Saga Frontier. I don't remember if he owned it or not. Uh, I remember we played it for a bit, probably during the weekend or something. We got really confused, lost, and we didn't really do much. <laughs> That's all I remember. So, um, this is gonna be a first ever playthrough. Uh, I've never seen anybody play this game. I've never seen it beat, anything like that. I wouldn't say that it's gonna be 100% blind. Uh, we will be utilizing the stuff that came with the game, which is namely this manual, uh, and also a, it's a poster and a map. Um, the world doesn't seem too intricate, so who knows, we'll see. I don't know if there's dungeons or whatever the case may be, but. I'll be utilizing both of those things, and I'll also be utilizing game facts if I get lost. Um, full disclosure, I read about a little bit of like opening tips uh, as far as how to assemble your party, and uh, at the very, very beginning, what people recommend to do, and I'm going to do those, but then beyond that, for the most part, unless I get stuck, we're, uh, we're, we're diving in. So sit back, enjoy, and hopefully I enjoy Final Fantasy Legend, but I also want to point out one thing I noticed when I was recording uh, test footage earlier. I don't know if it's the Analog Super NT or whatever the case may be, or if it's just the game itself. Again, never played it before. There's some screen tearing, which is very weird. It's not my computer or OBS. It's definitely something tied to the game. I just don't know exactly what. So bear that in mind, and I apologize for that in advance. Let's get going. All right, guys. So. First ever playthrough of the Final Fantasy Legend starts now. Uh, I'm trying to think of, you know, some fun stuff here as we venture forth. Um, I'm probably going to stick with the Game Boy border for this one. This is yet again another game that doesn't have a custom border. We're going to roll with uh, letter H, row 4 for the color scheme, which is sort of like a uh, kind of an old DMG Game Boy looking feel that I tend to enjoy quite a bit. I actually don't like the backgrounds of uh, Super Game Boy 2 as much as Super Game Boy 1. The reason why I'm using Super Game Boy 2, by the way, is Super Game Boy 2 plays the games more faithfully uh, as far as their speed goes um, compared to that of uh, the first Super Game Boy. So, um, just gonna take a quick look. See if maybe I wanna go with the gears. I think we're just gonna go with the regular Game Boy for this one. All right, uh, luckily the battery backup still works on this particular cartridge. And uh, yeah, hopefully it doesn't shit out on us during, <laughs> during the gameplay. But uh, let's get started by selecting start. I think there's only one save per cart, so it should overwrite it. I'm also hesitant to skip any of this, so I'm just going to let it go very slowly. It has been said that the tower in the center of the world is connected to paradise. Dreaming of life in paradise, many have challenged the secret of the tower, but no one knows what became of them. Now, there is another who will brave the adventure. Okay, so I believe we're choosing our main character now. So I want to get this out of the way. <clears throat> this is a first ever playthrough. I will venture to say that it's going to be about 50 to 60% blind. If I get stuck, I'll look stuff up like I addressed in the intro, but... Um, your, your party can go up to four people. 
And as you can see, you could choose from human, male, female, mutant, male, female. And then you could choose monsters. And I believe this is for the main character. Um, the most well-rounded characters by far are the humans. But from what I read in the instruction manual, a lot of this game revolves around gold and grinding. So just, <laughs> just a heads up. <laughs> There's probably going to be a lot of grinding, <clears throat> and I'm probably not going to cut all of it, too, because um, I feel like some of it I'm going to have to show you guys. But apparently for humans, you have to do a lot of grinding for a lot of gold, because I guess attributes are leveled up with gold, which is interesting. At least for humans. Um, mutants. From what I understand, they're really hit or miss. Sometimes they could be really good, sometimes they could be really bad. I think their uh, abilities adapt to either where you are in the game, what you're trying to kill, something along those lines. I don't know exactly. But I guess, like, in some instances, your mutant might be amazing for where you are. Like, let's just say healing powers. Again, I'm, I could be talking out of my ass. I don't know. But then, like, let's say you're in a dungeon where you need heals, and then all of a sudden the mutant doesn't know it anymore. That's what I read anyway. Could be wrong. And then the last four are uh, monsters, I believe. Are they referred to as monsters, I think? Let me look it up in the manual. Humans, mutants, and monsters, yeah. So monsters are the weakest of the bunch. Uh, they go off of meat. You find meat somewhere through the game and you feed them to the monsters. And depending if the monster meat is stronger than them, then they'll get stronger. If it's weaker, they'll get weaker. It seems like it's somewhat of a crapshoot and very in-depth. <laughs> um, I've actually seen recommendations to not even use monsters, but we're going to roll with a two human, one mutant, one monster uh, playthrough to try to get some variety. So we're going to have our main character be a human male. And we will name said human male... Um, hey, it's gotta go with Big Rays again, right? You're, you're gonna be getting fucking Razor until the end of time. Oh, we got fucking short change there. There you go, Razor. Alright, so it looks like you're dropped right in. Uh, we are in the base town, I believe. And... I just want to point it out, I mentioned it in the intro. Do you guys see, like, the top, I don't know, eighth of the screen? There's screen tearing. Some people might not even notice it. I do, it bothers me. There's nothing I can do about it, so. If you want to advance, choose members in the guild. Alright, so we're just going to get used to the, um... The menuing here. Position 1F, maximum 1F. Ability. Razor has 60 MP, it looks like. What is that, a long sword? And is that durability or is that power? 50. Uh, let me look it up real quick in the guide. Well, in the manual. Manual's thick as shit, by the way. It's almost 80 pages. There's like a mini walkthrough in it, but it's like one of those weird ones where they try to make it seem like it's like story driven. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Where it's like it kind of tells you what to do, but it's, it's an adventurer's log and it's following the quest of a guy named Eric. So I'm actually not really going to use it much, because it's kind of weird, I don't know. I mean, I appreciate it, but I also kind of hate when they do that. I prefer if it's like Final Fantasy 2 on the SNES, aka 4, where they just straight up give you like a mini strategy guide. <laughs> um, alright, what do we got here? So it looks like it'd be number 9 on this guide. Uh, this list shows equipment being carried by the character, the item of the... No, 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 no. That's not what we're looking for. Come on now. Weapons and skills, alright. By the way, you could get a fucking submachine gun, a Mac 10 in this game. Do you believe that? That's some funny shit. Uh, unlimited- so there's limited use, unlimited use, uh, armor, which is interesting. I don't know what the fuck it is. I'm having trouble finding it, so we're just gonna move on. We got bronze gloves and a long sword. Any items? No. Equipment. We already know about that. We're very, very low on defense, and I did read, this is part of the thing that I read, that it's recommended that you get armor as quickly as possible. Here's save. They also recommend that you save often, which I will. <laughs> um, alright, so does select do anything? 
Select brings up... Oh, this is like message speeds, I think. So let's just bump it to eight, I guess. And then this looks like it's the order of your party. Now those hearts, from what I read, if you die, you could use a heart to revive. Um, if the character runs out of hearts completely, they're dead for good. So you could either go to a guild and get replacement characters, or you could just reset the game. Which, depending... Knowing me, I'll probably end up fucking resetting the game, but we'll see. Alright, so we have the inn here. Okay, we... Oh, that reminds me. Yeah, it's, it's, um, to heal. It's one gold point per one hit point, which is pretty fucking rough. And we have zero gold right now, I believe. Uh, right? Alright, so we're in the guild. We're gonna take a... You know, we're gonna go two males. Alright. We're gonna go with all cats here. Uh, shoot. It's gonna be hard to do Belmont with only four characters. Hmm. I got an idea. We'll do... Belly for Belmont. And now we're gonna grab a mutant. We'll do a mutant female. Again, with the cat theme, we'll go with Lily. Actually, her name fits because it's only Lily with one L. And then the last character is gonna be... Hmm... Mm-hmm-hmm. We have a lizard, a skeleton, an albatross, which looks like a devil? Is that... I always thought albatross was something else. Is that really like a nickname for a devil? And a goblin. You know, I'm feeling like... I want to go with the undead here. We'll go with the skeleton. Which cat should we name the skeleton? Hmm. You know what? We're gonna go with a friend of mine. Scott's cat. Obviously we can't fit the name, so we'll... We'll do Chloe the skeleton. How about that? Alright, so now we should have them all in our party, right? Let's take a look. We do. And as you guys could see, um, the mutant and the monsters uh, are pretty weak to start. And it looks like the main character is just beefed up. And the uh, secondary human has less HP, which is fine. <clears throat> this tower leads to paradise. Right, I don't think we can go there. Alright, so we have a longsword, axe, rapier. So. Apparently the rapiers are actually really good, uh, especially for the money. So our immediate goal is we're going to try to get rapiers for everybody. Well, for those that could actually use it. So wait, what is this? Strong, agility, HP 200, potion, X potion. Huh? Oh, boy, what the fuck is that? Um, let me see if we could figure this out. I want to know this shit now, you know what I mean? I don't want to, uh, learn it all later. Alright, so it's an eight HP 200 is an HP item. Uh, it raises a human's HP, ranging from a 1 to 20 point increase. However, once your human has over 200 HP, your HP will only raise by 1 point. So it's a, it's a randomized HP buff. Which then I'm also assuming that strength and agility is probably for the humans as well, right? Yeah, agility, strength, and the HP po Okay, so those are all for humans. And then I'm guessing that these are just standard things, obviously. X potion, heal, cure poison, cure blind, revive. What's the difference between a heart and a revive? Revive might be in battle and heart is probably out of battle. Rod? Uh, is the is that a fishing rod or a like <laughs> a weapon like a spell casting rod? Uh, hmm. Yeah, th this is a uh, for an old game. It can get a little uh, a little tricky from what I'm understanding. But at this point, that doesn't matter too much because we don't have any fucking gold. So. 
Door is locked by magic of black. I'm just gonna investigate the town a little bit more, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna sell some of our starting equipment to buy rapiers. If you lose your last heart, you can't be brought back to life, which we did know. Um, I'm unsure about the border- I was gonna say, there's the borders of the town. Also, heads up, uh, it seems like the game is kind of bland. Um, so, as you guys can see, there's almost just like a desert. Uh, is the only place here... There's another town in the southeast, which looks to be the town of Hero. I think that's like our first destination. Once you leave town, it's a savage land. Indeed. Okay, yeah, I think that's all we got here, so... Let's go see if we can buy some rapiers, or at least for the humans. Um... Do I have to unequip? Sell. Yeah, it looks like I have to unequip, which is fine. So, Razor, we're gonna unequip that. I think we're gonna keep the bronze. Hammer. Wait. Lily already has a rapier? Uh. Bone. Fire. What, why is there an X and an O? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Can monsters even use weapons? Um... Huh. So is this equipped? Was that just a held item? I'm so confused. Uh, I don't think anything changed, right? So was that just a held item? That might be. Alright, so we're at 7 strength. Huh. Man, I don't even know. Let's buy another rapier. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta sell that. Sell that. Let's buy a rapier. Oops. Uh, let's equip the rapier to Razor. Okay. Um. Let's see, let's see. Gold armor. Alright, so that's what we're looking at. We basically need to get a, we need a lot of gold. <laughs> to say the least. Alright, so I think uh, I know what time it is, people. You know what time it is? Grind time? Let's see how the, uh, the battles are here. So, we were originally in the... Uh, the base town here, and it looks like there is a moat of some sort. We're gonna head towards the uh, town to the southeast. Looks like it's right here, actually. Hmm. I was gonna say, we didn't get really many random encounters, which is interesting to think of. We'll find out really quickly if this goes down to 49 for turn 2, right? You can't use this item. Wow, that's really bugged. <laughs> How bugged is that? No damage. Oh! Alright, so it is a finite... Yo, what the fuck? Huh. One of our characters might be dead already. Don't attack Lily. No damage. Has Belly even landed a hit yet? What the fuck? Alright. Am I tripping? 
Also, what do I equip to the fucking mutant? Uh. Mmm. Interesting. So they have four ability slots? So that's what that was when I was looking at that on the screen. What the fuck, though? That's kind of confusing, man. Mutants gain mana as a result of using spells or mana-based weapons, i.e. the P-Sword in battle. Besides defense, this is the best stat you could increase, since the reason you have a mutant in your group is so you can use magic, okay. So they're basically magic? Fuck, so they- so yeah, she couldn't even have used the rapier if she tried. Hey, if Lily gets killed, I might reset. Yo, Belly hasn't landed shit, dude. Yo, this is fucking brutal. Uh... <laughs> I think I'm gonna reset. I'm, like, about to die. I ain't about that life right now. Yo, this game's got me fucked up. I'm not gonna lie. So why the fuck is Belly missing all the time? Are we just outclassed or something? I mean, it's equipped, is it not? Yeah, it's equipped. Uh... Hmm... Huh. <sighs> I'm a little stressed out right now, I'm not gonna lie. Also... Well, actually we might be able to buy Rapier for the, uh, Skeleton. Hmm. How much gold do we have? 54? Well, I guess we could always save it and just see, right? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll unequip Belly. Go to Chloe. Oh, shit, dude, really? So those can't be unequipped at all? Rapier can't be equipped either. And those are the four, uh... Things I was talking about earlier, so yeah, I guess... Yeah, all we need is fucking, uh, armor right now, and then obviously we start actually upgrading. Ha, ah, man. This is gonna be rough, dude. <laughs> this is gonna be rough, I don't even know what to say. Also, the monsters, yeah, they can't equip anything, so... Anyway, um... Let's try to get to the town. I might just run away. If I encounter a lizard again, I'm gonna run. Or at least try to. Hey, we made it to the town. I guess we'll talk to some people while we're here, right? This is the town of Hero. A statue of Hero is in the center of the town. Oops. Three kings are fighting for control of the world. So I'm guessing probably standard in here, looks like. Yep. I can't believe they're trying to extort one GP for each fucking health, dude. That's- that's some whack shit. The Castle of Shield is nearby. Indeed it is. It's to the east. Each king seeks the treasure of the others to become the king of the world. The three kings are shield, armor, and sword. The Castle of Armor is to the northeast. Castle of Sword is in the southwest, mountains. A long time ago, the statue of Hero wore armor. A long time ago, the stat... What? Wore sword? <laughs> the statue of Hero wore shield. That's some kind of, uh... That's poor English, but that's okay. Not like I speak much better, I guess. 
What do you got here? Strong agility, potion, next potion, bell shocker. Bell and shocker are different. I'm gonna look that up real quick in the old manual. Oh wow, I opened up right to the page. Who would have guessed? Shocker cures paralysis. The bell awakens sleepers. Okay. Noted. Yo, hearts are expensive as shit, man. That, that calls for reset city at that point. <laughs> Uh, hammer, rapier, bow, whip, punch. Why the fuck is punch so fucking... Is it because it has 99 uses? Bronze? Oh, I gotta feel like the gold armor is better than the bronze armor, right? And then the sleep and fire, uh, I'm assuming get equipped to the mutant. <laughs> yeah, I already talked to you. What is this? House of Life costs 100 GP. What is what is that? What is the House of Life? Uh, let me see. I think I remember reading this in the uh, instruction manual. Got to figure it out though. Uh, oh, oh, here we go. The House of Life. If a companion has been killed, you can restore him at the House of Life. Each time a character is restored, he will lose one of his hearts. He will be restored, but will be badly in need of healing after being revived. Once spent, the money to restore the characters cannot be returned. Point the hand of the character, blah 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 blah. So, I guess even if you have hearts, you have to come here and spend 100 GP as well. So I'm guessing again that that revive item that we saw earlier probably revives well in battle or on the overworld maybe? It might serve as like a house of heart where you still need a heart and a revive. But uh, let's check out this statue, I guess. <clears throat> Something missing from the statue. Oh yeah, it's missing armor, a sword, and fucking a shield and stuff, right? Pretty sure. Well... Uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that... Uh, I don't know, man. I think we have to start grinding. <laughs> so let's save it. <clears throat> Our next step is going to be... Uh, we're going to go to the Castle of Armor. Oh, fucking shit. Oh, no. Can I kill something other than the fucking lizard? I I'm actually, like, curious... I'm curious, uh, Final Fantasy Legend Bestiary. I wanna know what kind of fucking HP we're dealing with here. So I'm not wasting my time. You know what I mean? Uh, was that a lizard? Uh, oh! 40 HP, dude. 40 fucking HP. Where do I grind? You guys saw that shit. If I was lucky, I was doing two to three fucking per turn, dude. Where do I grind? Alright, what, what about the goblin? I feel like he's gotta be stronger, no? Five, seven. Uh, the goblin. Okay. The goblin actually is stronger, but has half the health, so this is this is gonna be our grind right here. Belly, I need you to hit, bro. Woo! Holy fuck. Don't attack Lily. Don't attack Lily. Why are we missing all the time with the rapier? Was I led astray? I was led to believe that the rapier was a really good starting weapon. And I'll be honest with you, it seems like it's shit. Am I wrong? I'm literally just not even fucking hitting, dude. Well. <sighs> wow. 
I don't even know what to say about that. We're like basically fucking dead right now. <laughs> um, it's gonna cost like all my gold just to fucking revi uh, heal up. I guess I'll save. Oh man, this is treacherous, dude. This is really treacherous. You want to talk about a fucking early uh, disaster curve? I wouldn't even call it a learning curve. So let me gather my thoughts here. I clearly need to heal up. You know what I mean? Or I'm gonna die. So that's the first thing we have to do. But why do I keep missing? I do not understand why we're missing so much. We need to save up to get gold armor, but... Uh, you know, I, I gotta figure out why are we missing all the time. Attacks keep missing. Uh, that's Final Fantasy 1. Um, I can't be the only one wondering why I'm fucking missing all the time. Oh, what? So, for Final Fantasy Legend 2, it, it straight up revolves around your agility? But how- oh my- it's like fucking- I don't know. I don't know what to say. Oh my! Okay, so... They literally don't even give me... I thought I was gonna be able to pick and choose. Oh my god. Huh. Wow. Um... This is a very, very difficult beginning of the game, guys. What do we do? Like... I don't know. I guess I'm gonna head back towards the opening town and hope for the best. I mean, maybe I was outclassed a little there, I don't know. Let's stick close to the, the tower town here. Let's literally just do this. <laughs> Alright, so we know lizards are an absolute no-go. The goblins are doable, but if we keep missing... Fucking shit, dude. have anything. The bone either regenerates in between things or whatever, I don't know. Um, wait a minute. Are these abilities that I can- hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I give those to Lily? No. An item. Alright, let me see. You guys gotta bear with me, obviously, this is the first playthrough, I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. I feel like there's a lot to this game to like, but I feel like there, there's a learning curve. Why can't I use... Why can't I use those things that, uh... Is that only outside of battle? Dude, I can't hit anybody with my fucking rapier.
Taking a beating already. Oh man, Razor's about to die. Oh boy. Dude, he keeps attacking Razor. I don't think Belmont has landed a single fucking hit yet. Razor's dead. Dude, this game's tough. Oh my goodness. <sighs> boy, oh boy. Um, I'm trying to figure out, like... Like, what... What is this? What is it? Oh... Par I'm assuming it's like Paralyzed slash WP and then X Fire? Like, I have no fucking clue what that means. <laughs> and why wasn't it letting me use it in battle? You know what I mean? I'm trying to find something, anything in the instruction manual. I need gold, but like, I gotta be able to fucking attack, dude. It, it's clear I need gold, but... Man, I don't know, dude. You wanna talk about a very, very unforgiving beginning of the game? Either I'm doing something horribly wrong here, or this is, it's just fucking hard as nails, dude. Reading the uh, the journey begins fucking thing in the uh, instruction manual. They're encountering goblins. Um. Yo, I'm starting to think I was led astray. I'm not even kidding. I think I got fucking lied to by the internet. Because <laughs> I literally just saw in this guide that the fucking main character attacked with the axe and did 10 damage. I think I was fucking lied to, guys. I think I was fucking lied to. I think I sold probably a better fucking weapon for a worse one. And now I'm kind of pissed. Because I'm like... I'm strapped for fucking cash right now, dude. Well, he had an axe, but... Um, is there a weaponry thing? Oops. Let me see here. Yeah, so the rapiers are agility-based weapons, but, like, I have no agility right now. Right? I didn't know that. Fuck me. Hold on. Yeah, I have eight strength. Yeah, these people are supposed to be using fucking strength weapons, dude. God damn it. Well, this fucking sucks. Do I even have enough- I don't even have fucking money to- Oh my god, dude. I was fucking bullshitted. That's why I'm fucking dying. Note to self, people. Don't believe everything you read on the internet. I could probably restart the game. I don't know. Oh, man. This sucks. What do I do? Um... Alright guys, you know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna restart the game, so... But here's what I'll do. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to assemble my party the same exact way that I did, blah 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 blah. I am not selling and buying the rapiers. I'm gonna keep my starting equipment, and we're gonna go from there. Alright? So I will meet you guys... Uh, where are we right now? We're in... Town of Hero? How about this? We'll do a little seamless... 
Seamless editing. I'll meet you right here in the town of Hero. How about that? All right, I uh, resetted the game, but we got the same party, um, and we have our beginning equipment, which was the long sword, the hammer. Lily has the rapier on her person, which I think I'll keep in case somebody's agility goes up quick, then I might give it to them, and Chloe has the bone. Um, shoot, man. I don't even know what to say, you know? Times are tough. Excuse me. How much gold do we have? I don't remember. <sighs> now I'm starting to think like, fuck dude, should I? Well, I mean, I, I need armor. I need armor. Uh, I have zero gold. Okay. Should I sell Lily's rapier then? I'll hold on to it for now. <clears throat> Our first step is we need gold armor. Our next step uh, is I would like to get bows. But I need to like, I need to really investigate, dude. Like, you know, the rapiers do me no good right away. You know, the thing that I read online was that they're like, oh, sell your starting stuff and buy rapiers because rapiers are really good starting weapons. And it's like, I get it, but I wasn't connecting because of my agility. So let's see if I hit more with Belly and Razor. If they hit with more accuracy and they hit stronger than two, then I'd say that we're in a good position. The only thing that's a little sketchy is the lizard has 40 HP. <laughs> Wait, so Lily does use the ra Oh my god, dude, I feel like a fucking buffoon. I thought that the- I thought the mutants couldn't use the rapier. I thought they could only use the, uh, those slots. Well, I'll be damned. Yep. Alright, the internet lied to me, guys. What do you want? I don't know what to say. The internet lied. I knew this was too fucking hard. Come on, now. Oh, well. That's why you guys watch these playthroughs, right? First playthrough? Don't attack Lily, you fuck. Don't make me reset. Thank you. There we go. There we go. We're a little beat up. We're a little beat up. Um... Should we heal? Probably should, right? You know what? I'm gonna take my chances. I just saved. I want to get an ogre or a, a goblin. We should be able to fuck them up easy. No! Stop it. What game am I thinking of? There's another game... ...that I'm thinking of that doesn't... ...you don't like level up normally. Like Final Fantasy 2 obviously you level up weird too, but... Uh, there's another RPG that you don't level up traditionally. Maybe I'm thinking of Final Fantasy 2, I don't know. Hmm. It is kind of odd that everything revolves around... Bro, I don't really want to fight the lizards. I want to fight the fucking goblin or ogre. I think it's a goblin. Also, I'm not seeing any difference whatsoever in my positioning. I think I've encountered more goblins up here, so... Yo! That was a pretty fucking hefty attack. Yeah, we should be able to kill him in two turns. One turn. Let's go. Okay. We're, we're, we're getting there, guys. Alright? It just takes a little bit of time. We're a little short on cash again, but... It is what it is. How much is the uh, armor again? I don't remember. Oh, that's a lot of money. <laughs> uh, okay, well. Please keep feeding me goblins, I guess. Uh. Now the, the predicament is, is like, how... Okay, so now Lily knows gas? Interesting. 
So that was not dialogue prompted to me after a battle. I think Lily just inherently learned it after fighting either the lizard or the uh, goblin. My predicament here is though, is if we don't get quick kills, I think we have to keep running away from the lizard. It has to be a uh, goblin or bust. Yeah, that's no good. Because we're just gonna eat too much damage where we have the ability to one cycle the goblin. You know what I mean? Like we'll never gain gold fighting the lizards. Not a chance. I mean, that hurts too, obviously, but... Oh, I didn't mean to use gas. I wasn't paying attention. Alright. Well, that's cool. It... Now I'm curious. Okay, still knows gas. Interesting. Like I said already, I think this game's gonna be fun. It's just, uh, it's a little rough for me tonight. <laughs> it's a little rough around the edges. We're gonna have to, uh, goblin hunt here. That's what this comes down to. Now I don't think... Oh, an albatross. Wait a minute! The albatross looked like a... This is what I thought the albatross was, but the albatross looked like a fucking devil earlier, remember? Um, I am not gonna fuck around with this. We're going to... Look at what we're dealing with here. Okay, so it's another- actually- Oh, this is a better fight. Yeah, this is a better fight, I think, than even the, uh, the goblin. It's a weaker attack. Oh, okay. As I get hit 18. Fuck you, dude. Ooh, we got meat! We got meat! We're gonna eat that shit. Chloe changed to goblin- oh, fuck. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. Yo, Chloe's a fucking goblin. Oh, no, dude. Well, actually... Yo, Chloe's stronger than us right now. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Very, very slowly gaining gold, but we're gaining gold, alright. No, 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 no. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna do uh, a couple more battles on camera for you guys, and then pretty clearly I'm gonna have to do a lot off so I can get some fucking gold so I can actually proceed. I was a little worried about how much I'm gonna be grinding. I don't mind grinding, it's just, uh, you know, it's not- doesn't make for the most entertaining stuff for you guys to watch. See, this is the type of shit where I sort of miss streaming, right? You know, is the lizard worth it in any capacity? Doesn't the lizard drop the same amount of gold? The, uh, albatross and the goblin dropped, uh, 40. Yeah, the lizard drops 42. Fuck that. You are a trap, sir. And the bullshit part about that is... Is they don't give you experience, so, like, what's the point? Why would you want to fight something stronger? No! Give me albatross in goblin, please. It's so funny, like, every RPG of the era is like up the wazunks with random and oh, we got a zombie. That could be bad. I feel like this could be like status afflict uh, central up in this bitch. Oof. Yeah, so, um, no. This is actually even more dre uh, dreadful than the fucking lizard. Yeah, the zombie has 60 HP. And I think is stronger than all three of the other enemies that we fought, so... <clears throat> no thanks. Yo, what? We're just encountering a ton of shit right now. Although... I'm sure they potentially have the ability to drop other types of meat, right? Which could be a big buff for, uh, for Chloe. So that's something to consider. Um, this seems to be an enemy, believe it or not, in my wheelhouse. 
you won't drop your katana. I guess he didn't. Alright. We're getting some good shit now. Come on, somebody get a hit. Hey. Are we eating it? I mean... We're already a goblin, so what's the worst that could happen? Right? I want to read up on the meat again real quick. Can the normal people eat it to recover? Hold on. Items. Recovering HP. Potion, potion 3, and elixir. Where's the shit about the meat, though? There's a whole section about meat. Monster. Oh, hold on, hold on. Here we go. <sighs> Monster ups and downs. When you look at the monster's subscreen, you will find some type of attack listed there. To the right of this attack, you will find an X or an O. Well, that's actually incorrect. It's to the left, but anyway. The X means your character will be more vulnerable. And O means it is immune to this attack. Oh, I see. Interesting. I would have never fucking guessed that probably in a million years. I'll be honest with you. What up with the meat, though? Like, could I feed the meat to Razor? I need answers. Fuck is the meat. Tell me! Uh, I remember reading a part about the meat! What the hell? Come on. There we go. Sometimes there is meat. Occasionally, a chunk of meat is left behind by one of the enemies. If this meat is eaten, it may bring a change to the monster character. The meat will have no effect on human or mutants. Okay. Well, that's a bit of a bummer. Kind of hoping for a free heal. Let's eat it! Nothing happened. Alright, whatever. Alright, this will be the last fight that I do uh, on camera. And then after this, I'll do a little bit of uh, off camera, off recording grinding for you guys. And of course, I'll fill you in on anything that happens, just to let you know, I'll literally be right here. <laughs> so, avoiding lizards and zombies, if possible. Because they do me no good. Fucking bullshit. Cheap hit. Should probably heal. Alright, we're building some gold. I'm, I'm, I'm happy now. Again, um... I need some explanations as to why the highest rated uh, game facts guide was telling me ah fucker oh come on dude why the highest rated game facts guide was telling me to sell my shit and get rapiers when rapiers are tied to your agility stat and my agility was low as hell. Were they assuming that... Well, no, because if I started as a mutant, they probably had rapiers to begin with, no? I don't know, dude. I need answers. I feel like I was fucking... I was bamboozled. Regardless. Bam fucking boozled. What are we... What are we working with here? 30... We should probably top off, even though that means we only gained like 10 gold from that fight. Eh, yeah, fucker. Alright! Well, you heard me. It is time for me to grind. I will catch up on it with you guys in a little bit. Here's the, uh, the overview. And we have 128 GP. See you soon. Alright, I just wanted to do a quick little segment here before I actually go to bed in real life. So, I did some grinding. As you guys can see, I have quite a bit of gold. Uh, unfortunately, I have to spend a lot of it as well at the inns. Um, I also wanted to show you... Lily has gotten a lot stronger. Like, as you can see, her HP is, like, super high. Um, and... I think I remember reading something about this vaguely about mutants, but their abilities constantly change. So right now she knows ESP, Electro, and Stench. Uh, it seems like they're debuffs. I have no fucking clue what ESP does. Nothing ever works. <laughs> um, Electro and Stench don't seem to really do anything either. At least, like, they're not landing in battle. 
Um, occasionally she learned a move called Gas, which did well over 20 damage, which is great and helped a lot, but unfortunately, she seemed to have lost it along the way. Again, I don't understand. I feel like it might be coming in and out randomly, and I think I remember reading that, but I'm not sure. Um, everybody else is pretty much status quo. Chloe is now a, um, an albatross. I stopped eating meat because I kind of like the albatross. She does like around 10 plus damage with each hit. Belly's still pretty weak with the hammer. Uh, Razor, I actually had to rebuy a longsword because the first one broke, essentially. Uh, so that's another reason why my gold is in a little bit higher. But I wanted to pop back in and let you guys know all that. I've just been grinding outside of the base town here. Probably about, I don't know, maybe 20, 25 minutes, something like that. Nothing crazy. Um, I did, however, want to show you guys uh, the stuff that I'm going to be buying. I'm going to buy gold armor. Another gold armor. Another gold armor. And a gold gauntlet. And currently, Razor has a bronze gauntlet. We'll equip the gold. Belly will have the gold. And Lily will have the gold. Oof, Lily's a. If Lily could learn gas, Lily's a beast right now, man. Um. And I'm trying to think, I guess I'll put Belly with the gold gauntlet. Fortunately, the uh, mutants or whatever, not mutants, the monsters can't wear anything. So we still need to get a gold gauntlet for, honestly, for Razor and Lily. It's not, we're actually really close. I think I'm going to go out and just to get a little, make sure that this, uh, this little segment of footage that I'm doing here isn't so short. We'll do a few battles. It might only take like two to be able to uh, buy another gauntlet and then heal. Um, and then I think I'll probably actually give, since Lily has so much higher HP, I'll probably give the bronze gauntlet to Lily and then the gold one to Razor. And then we're gonna actually try to uh, advance the story and fight things now. Oh, this is the first time that I've encountered this and probably 30 to 40 random encounters. The Red Bull. What are you working with, sir? Or ma'am? Let's see. Red Bull. Okay, so you're working with a whole lot of nope. Uh, <laughs> fucker. So it seems like every fucking enemy around here drops 40 gold. And the Red Bull has 60 HP, so what's the point? Here, I will fight the Albatross. But, unfortunately, we're uh, kind of back to square one almost. Because we got hit pretty hard. Uh, I'm, I'm honestly, like, afraid to eat the meats around here. Because so far, to be completely transparent, the Albatross has been the number one uh, thing for me. Even over the skeleton. So I'm not going to eat meats around here. Maybe when we get to a new area with new enemies and shit, but... Ooh, man, this fucking armor is great, dude. Wow. Now I'm regretting not buying it earlier. I could have saved a lot of money. I just got hit two where that guy used to hit me like 10 plus sometimes. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, all right. Uh, I don't know. Do we have enough to heal and buy a gauntlet? We do. Perfect. All right, so let's do... Let's unequip that. And Lily can wear that. And then let's get a gold gauntlet for Razor. I could very easily grind this stuff, but I think I'm gonna kind of try to do it a little naturally. Um, I'm feeling... I mean, honestly, I, I kind of want to get a longsword or an axe for Belmont, because I feel like the hammer is like a piece of shit. <laughs> I really do. Um, you know what? I might just do that, actually. He should be able to equip it. He's the same class. And then we could sell the hammer. And then what's my gold at? 39. I need to get to 150 to get another gauntlet. I could do it. Let's do it. Fuck it. You only live once, right? 
What's a little extra sleep? If Lily could learn gas or something, oh my god, I will be rolling in the dough so easily. So I'm starting to understand it more the more that I, you know, dick around here. Um, it's all about getting the right meats to turn you if you have a monster. As far as the mutants go, it seems like it's a roll of the dice. And I kind of mentioned that earlier. And, uh, yeah, I would say by far the, uh, humans are the sa safest, you know, class to go. I don't know how I feel about the mutants. Like, on paper, yeah, Lily's great, but... I don't know. Oh yeah, I forgot, she's a rapier, right? Either way, the fact that we have all this new armor is awesome, because we will have to heal less, which means we can bank more money. I'll feel confident enough to move on as soon as I get that gauntlet. Yeah, let's go with the rapier. Ooh, Lily! You're killing it! Yeah, the gas was fucking great, but... I mean, nothing else seems to be working. I, that's the one thing I'm a little confused by, is why isn't anything working? All those debuff spells or whatever. They don't seem to be doing shit. But either way, we're barely getting injured now, so that's awesome. I'm almost tempted to fight just about anything that comes my way, to be honest with you. No matter what it is. But, I want to get uh, at least another battle in so I can heal up and buy myself a gauntlet. And then I think I'm ready to rock. I would like to... Potentially buy like a bow or something, but it is what it is. So right now we have enough for the gauntlet, but we don't have enough to heal. So one more battle should give me enough to heal and buy the gauntlet. Perfect. This is actually what we really wanted to see. One more hit, come on. Hey, there we go. I'm liking it, I'm liking it right now, guys. Now, here's the thing, is I'm gonna do a little bit of research myself uh, tomorrow morning. Or whenever I play it next. Alright, sick. I was... See, I don't want... I don't know if I could believe that one game facts. It says that they recommend buying bows as well early, but... Shit, man, you told me to buy rapiers. And that shit's useless for me. You know what I mean? Buy another gold gauntlet. Perfect. Uh, ba -ba -ba. And let's check out the defense. Bam, we're up to 11. 11. Lily's just fucking tanking right now, dude. And, yeah, Chloe's weak. I heard that the monsters are the weakest no matter what, but... Okay, wait, so that means... Uh, what did that mean? I want to remember that before I go to sleep. Okay, so Chloe is immune to Quake. Got it. Oh, that would make sense, because she's flying, right? So, anyway. Um, I'm feeling good right now. Obviously, I'd like to have a little bit more gold, because I'd like to upgrade the bronze gauntlet to the gold, which I'll probably end up doing. Uh, beyond that, I mean... I don't know, I'm on the fence about the whole bow thing. And shit, man, I'd like to, you know, maybe get like a health upgrade for Belly, because he's at 40. But uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm liking this. It certainly is grindy, and the beginning can be a bit rough, especially if you get led astray like I was. But um, I'm actually liking this, and we're going to hopefully soon kind of see what a, a dungeon uh, has to offer, but... First things first, I wanted to look at, pull up my map again. Um, I think we're gonna be going to... Um, we're gonna go to the castles. There's the armor, the sword, and I believe the shield. We're gonna go to the... I think we're gonna go to the armor one first, but I'm not not for certain. But either way, guys, we'll, uh, we'll check in soon. Let me save just in case. I just had a weird deja vu, by the way, of me playing this game. Isn't life strange? I don't know. Who knows? Sometimes I feel like it's scripted, but either way. Let's uh, head to the Castle of Armor. 
All right, it is the next day of recording. And you know what? I decided against my greater judgment that I really, really, really uh, want to get the uh, the gold gauntlets for a razor. Or not for a razor. Wait, did we buy gold gauntlets for a... Lily needs them. Okay. Couldn't remember. Um, but we have 44 gold, so we're really not, like, that far away. You know what I'm saying? So... We're gonna do a little bit more grinding. Yeah, might be a little bit boring, but you know what? It is what it is. So... You just got to deal with it. Or you can fast forward. That's all on you. Of course, you know, classic video games, right? When you actually want to, uh get encounters you'll walk around for fucking a million years with nothing happening uh, ooh no damage that's right I forgot that our armor is sick now and a lot of these uh, hits that we're taking they're basically like little pea shooters you know I let this game marinate on me um, overnight I enjoy it it's uh it's very unique and <clears throat> obviously I'm excited to see what you know the rest of this game holds right but I'm also very excited to see what the uh, the future of the series holds because by all accounts from what I understand um, Final Fantasy uh, legend 2 and 3 allegedly are better I don't know you know what I mean just go here I am going off the internet again right when these fucking assholes told me to get the rapier without even working at anything and when I did that, what happened, guys? We couldn't hit a single enemy, so... Who knows? Also, like... You know, for example... I'm a, uh... Shining Force 1 guy. Not that I don't really love Shining Force 2, but the internet, you know... Slurps Shining Force 2 up completely. So with all that being said... I'm kinda rambling now. Maybe this will be the one that I enjoy. But, uh... We should have enough now, right? Especially if we unequip that and sell it, right? So we'll sell that for s only six. Book gold gauntlet, though. Take it. Oops. So we're we're pretty like equipped now, actually. Um, the next stuff on my list would be buying shit like this. Uh, which, fuck, where is my, there it is. Uh, I forgot to grab my, uh, my manual. I wanted to look up before we, uh, continue on here with our story, basically. Um, just one more time, what the HP 200 does, I think it's a... It was like one of those crapshoot, uh, you know, your HP can go up this, 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 or this sort of thing. But I just wanted to read it one more time. Not like I have the gold to afford it at the moment, but it's fine. Future reference. There's just so much, like, shit to remember, you know what I mean? That it's tough off the top of the dome. Alright, we're getting through, like, weapons and items and shit. Where the fuck are the, uh... What the hell, dude? Weapons and skills... It would be like in 40 to 42, so... Let's see. Recovering HP. Okay, here we go. Human strength and agility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strong and agility. <clears throat> it will raise their abilities by a variable amount. It may take several potions to raise one human to strength level or another. Interesting. So I guess it's like a roll of the dice or some shit? But what is up with the, uh... Crap, dude. What is up with the HP 200s? I don't remember. Hmm. Well... I won't spend too much time. I can't find it right now, so... Now, our goal is to do what I said that I was gonna do earlier, but then I ended up grinding really quickly for the, uh, the gauntlets. We're gonna head to the, uh, Castle of Armor, which apparently is over here somewhere. 
How do we get in now? Great question. I think we're heading. Was I heading to the castle of armor or shield? I think it was armor. <laughs> Don't know what enemies are over here either. That looks to be the castle. Am I leaving? The fuck? The graphics are so plain in this game, it's hard to tell sometimes. Welcome, friend. The king would like to speak to you on the second floor. Okay. Same dialogue. Oops. So, oh my goodness. So it's actually funny. <clears throat> Even though the games aren't related, the dialogue prompts in this game are very, very similar to the Final Fantasy Adventure, where you just bump into people. Oh my god. Is that all you guys have to say? Looks like it. <laughs> I don't see anybody else, so. Mm -mm -mm. This almost seems like a maze. I wonder if there's fights here? Probably not, right? Alright, this looks pro to be the throne room, I'm assuming. Yep. Chloe, my lord, you look ill. What is wrong? I'm in love. Ooh, who's the lady? She's a girl who lives in the south, but she wouldn't accept my proposal. I see. I may be able to help you for a reward. I'll give you anything you want. Uh. Oh my god. So I'm guessing, uh. There's a south town? on the map and I bet you if we inform said girl in Southtown about the king's love that you'll probably give us the armor for the statue right I'm assuming anyway but we'll find out and of course if we fight anything along the way I'll, yeah, along the way excuse me we will do so with glee. As I will gladly take more gold. Alright, so. Get our. Yeah, why not? Found it interesting that the monster in the group was speaking to the king. Isn't that odd? Oh, no, 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 I don't want to eat. I'm straight up holding on to uh, Chloe's current build until we get to uh, stronger animals and shit. By the way, guys, I fucked up royally. One of our cats, my cat Lily, right, who we're using the name in this game, one of her nicknames is Lily Monster. I should have made her the monster. I don't know what I was doing. But anyway, apparently Southtown is down here somewhere. You know what? I'll take my chances here against a zombie. We'll see what's up. It's so nice not getting, like, literally, like, one-third of your fucking HP taken away with an attack. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie. Kinda tempting to eat this. But I think I'm gonna pass. Just because I really think that the current build for, uh, for Chloe is pretty good, so... So we got a... Eh, might as well, whatever. It's like an alien town. The bandits live in a cave to the west. Okay. That might be our next spot. There's a girl in back who's very special. Oh, you don't say. The statue of the hero used to wear the king's armor. Looks to be just an exit. You guys are in my way. Oh my god. Please move. Please move. To the left or something. Thank you. 
What do we got? We got hammer, rapier, longsword, kick? The fuck is that? Is that an ability? Bronze shield. Uh, wait a minute. We only have, um... Armor and gauntlets, so technically, couldn't we use the shield and the helmet? Right? Let's just see. Oh, yes, we could. You know what? I'm gonna buy another. I'm just trying to gear the fuck up right now, guys. That's all I'm trying to do. And uh, Lily has a lot of HP, so I'm not too worried about her. What do we got here? Strong agility. I think these prices are the same, right? Mmm, should probably buy some potions, honestly. Well, anyway, let's find this girl. And then we might have to grind a little bit. I think I want to get some potions, because I feel like we're probably heading to the bandit hideout soon. You know what I mean? I've heard about you. Why did you turn the king down? Bandit has threatened to destroy the village unless I accept his proposal. Oh, okay. Hmm. So I guess she wants to marry the king, <clears throat> but the bandit is, uh, is flexing, to say the least. So. All right. Oh, who's this? Oh, House of Light. It's funny that it's in the water. I, I want to mention this too, guys. I basically heard that this game is fairly, um, even though it, it can be very challenging, as you guys saw at the beginning, possibly later on as well, that it's actually not super long, and it's kind of streamlined, and I'm assuming it's obviously because it was made for the Game Boy. And when did this come out? Let me look at the uh, instruction manual here. Curious. Um... Why don't you have a year in here? Gotta love it, right? You're literally looking for any year anywhere. And it's not saying. But anyway, I'm pretty sure this is a somewhat early uh, Game Boy game, so they probably didn't want to, like, buff it out too much, you know? Alright, well, we're back in Goblin territory, which is fine by me. Our goal right now is we're trying to gear up to uh, get some healing items because I believe that we're about to enter into a dungeon. Obviously, we can't keep retreating to go to the inn, you know what I mean? Then we lose all of our progress, basically. Actually, <clears throat> I wanted to chat. Alright, 27 longsword. That should still be enough even after some grinds uh, to get through where we're going. Not too concerned about that. Wow. Never thought I'd see the day where enemies are not even able to attack certain members. Reminds me of my first run when I had <laughs> when I was using rapiers. Not getting anything. <clears throat> Alright, what are we at right now? 137? Honestly guys, I think we should do I think we should do three more fights. And then we could top off our heels at the inn. And then buy some uh, consumables and shit. <clears throat> Maybe even a shield. I don't remember how expensive they are. As soon as I say that, we don't get any battles. <laughs> yes, we love seeing fucking goblins, dude. Because they're dead in two hits. So. Nope. There we go. Oh, I love it. Keep feeding me. Keep feeding me, baby. Look at that, one hit kill. They really want to give us the meat, but you know what, we're not going to accept it. Sorry if you guys heard any banging. Uh, as usual, one of the cats going fucking ballistic. I don't know what to tell you. I need, like, my if I ever hit a big guy's, I'm going to have my own studio. Right? I'll put, like, soundproof shit all over the... <laughs> Thank you. 
Dude, it's like I'm trying to grind here, and everything's dying so quickly that I just feel compelled to keep going. So I'm going to. Come on. Anybody. Hit me up. There we go. Oh, there's two of them, huh? Does that mean I get 80 gold? I hope so. I might get 80 gold here, guys. Let's see. Ooh. Do I eat this meat? I'm afraid. I'm not gonna do it, dude. 80 gold, let's go. Alright, let's go back in this town then. First things first. Pop off. Secondly. Um. Hmm. I gotta get some uh, magic too at some point, but you know, right now, probably bare essentials. Buy one of these. Um, we'll give it to Belly, I think. Sure. Now, I'm confused because the shield is a consumable? Why is that? Let's see. It's guide time, baby. Uh, where is the appendix? There we go. Uh, it's probably going to be in the weapons or armor section, so let's go to page 36. Melee weapons, skills, limited use. Some armor pieces, such as shields, have limited uses. A number to the right of any item indicates how many uses are left before it is gone and needs to be replaced. Okay. But like... What? Is it gonna be like, oh, you choose the shield, like instead of attacking, you would defend, maybe? That makes the most sense, right? Um... Alright, let's buy... Potions. And you know what? Let's buy one of these. Fuck it, let's see what happens. So we finally got items. That's always good. Can we combine these? No. Alright, let's try using it on... Belly. I like it. I like it a lot. And let's top him off. Oh, it's one of those things where you could fucking talk to people. King Sword is evil and will stop anyone who visits his castle. What? What's the other game? I think it's Shining Force 3, right? Probably the other Shining Forces as well, but I can't remember. I most recently played 3 a couple months ago. Um, but like, yeah, if you go in front of the desk, right? You get served as a merchant and a buyer. But if you go behind, you get the uh, extra dialogue, which is always interesting to me. Um, Alright, let's uh, head to the bandit's lair. So we gotta find our way out of this forest. Hopefully be able to get over to the west. Looks like we're able to. I don't think I'm really gonna run away from any fights. Uh, we seem to be in a pretty decent place. Especially when they keep missing certain characters. I might... No, I don't know, man. I feel like we've encountered so many zombies lately and they haven't done shit either, so... I was gonna say, try to, like, avoid the fights that are gonna take more than one turn, but... Lizard's kind of in my wheelhouse at this point. We also have six cures. And judging so far by the rest of the game, it doesn't look like it's going to take that long to probably get through this cave, I'm guessing. Alright, let's grab a save, and uh, let's head into the bandit's lair. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. So... 
Interesting. So are there gonna be random encounters in here, or are they gonna be like one of those types of RPGs where um, the enemies are very visible and you can avoid them? Know what I'm saying? Because I was about to go talk to this dude, but nope. Is this lizard tougher than usual? I feel like it is. E oh, is there two of them? Yo, what the hell? If you just keep bumping into them? Oh, that's so weird. They don't disappear? I don't know, man. That's kind of strange, isn't it? Are there random encounters, or...? Huh. There's a door here. Huh. Okay. Is this gonna be, uh, the big bandit king, huh? Who said you could enter? I did. Why is Chloe taking the lead? I'm so confused. <laughs> Forget about the girl. No way. So the bandit king is a lizard who is now dubbed a pea frog. Got it. Poison? Yo! The fuck? Well, that's no good, dude. Um. Oh my god, do you know what I just thought about? Do you think we could bully our way through this? Remember how I wanted to buy bows? I bet you if you physical attack, you just fucking... You probably just get poisoned. I'm gonna try to see if it's possible for me to, like, survive somehow. And get back to town and, like, cure myself. <laughs> I think we should eat that. Chloe changed to an Oni! Oh, that sounds like it's good, question mark? Spare me. You should have said that before. Oh, shoot! We just fucking killed him. So what's up here? Are we poisoned? Let's see. 49. Oh, it might have only been, um, poison in battle. So, I think we... <clears throat> I think we evaded, uh... Imminent bullshit. I hope, because I just saved it, so... <laughs> Alright, let's take a look around the rest of the cave. Oh, there are random encounters. What the fuck, dude? Very misleading. Oh, I forgot. I'm a different... Uh, I'm an Oni now. That is correct. Not seeing anything. Uh, I don't think I came in here, right? Treasure, though. Oh, nice! We got potions, strongs. Good stuff. Hmm. And a bronze shield. So I guess we will give that to Razor. Right? 
And we should probably use the strong. What are we what are we rocking here? We got a strength of eight. Strength of seven. Sixteen. I don't think they could be used on monsters, so. Yo, know, let's buff up Razor. I hope. <laughs> oh yeah. We went up what? We went up by four? I think? That's some good shit, man. That is some good shit. I don't think that there's anything else in this cave. Seems like a lot of emptiness. And... That was the... I just noticed all the enemies are gone, the walking ones. Unless I'm just missing them. That's the exit, but I wanted to check over here. Couldn't remember if there was anything over here. Oh, there was another door. Wait a minute. Was this place empty? I'm wondering if maybe... Uh, before I killed the boss dude... That potentially there was a... Um, you know, like a wandering lizard guy in there. Pretending to be the boss, if you will. Oh, no, I don't want to eat it. No, thank you. We have a lot of gold now, by the way, so that's good. Still, uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not quite as much, um, as I would have hoped, but... Because there's a bunch of really expensive things that I want to buy, to be quite honest. I think now... I'm gonna head back to Castle of Armor. And talk to the king. We gotta get out of this forest. And there's the castle. I have to buy another uh, weapon soon for Razor. All right. <clears throat> Oops. Talk to the king. See if we got anything new going on here. Oh, they're reunited. Thank you. Thank you. We are glad we could help. <clears throat> but are we still entitled to a reward? Mm-hmm. What do you desire? Well, we would like the armor. I see. Okay, so the king armor. Interesting. So, I believe that... Can I equip it? Ooh. Oh. Interesting. So I can equip it. But ultimately I have to put it on that statue. So I'm wondering... I don't think it's a consumable, obviously. Right? So I could probably... Uh, I could probably get away with... Wearing it, to be honest with you. So... I think I will do that, actually. Hopefully that doesn't, like, tarnish the, <laughs> the fucking armor in any way, shape, or form, but we'll find out. Really nothing else here. Um, I'm trying to think if Southtown had anything that I wanted. I don't remember the uh, inventory of Southtown and Town of Hero and all that kind of shit. Where do I want to go next? Um... Well... I want to go to, uh... The Castle of Sword. Which... I think was near the Bandit Lair area, but I also wanted to gear up a little bit. So I'm trying to think just exactly where I want to go, though. Either way, I have to go back in this direction. 
I think I'm gonna go back to Town of Hero. Maybe... Pick up some bows and maybe another longsword. Let's just investigate the sitch. So there's a statue. Ultimately, I have to go there. <clears throat> I'm assuming placing all the armor on there, you know, ultimately uh, allows me to advance to the next area or whatever, but... So we got hammer, rapier. All right, we do get the bow, the whip, and the punch. Who the fuck uses the punch, though? And why is it so expensive? Got bronze armor. Hmm. Do I buy these? Also. Yeah, uh. Hmm. I think I want to go back to the original town. I should definitely replenish <coughs> Razor and Lily's weapons. Um, so let's do that. Opening Town also sold, uh, rapiers for Lily, so... Forgot the entrance is over here. Right before we go in, wow! Oh, I just realized that Lily uh, learned gas again, but she only has five uses of it, but it's actually a pretty decent attack. Did her HP go down at all? I didn't check. No, it went up a lot. Goodness. Goodness. Um... No, no, no. Alright, let's unequip. Sorry for yawning, guys. It's late. A little tired, but... You know what? The show must go on. Uh, you're good. I'm gonna sell you... We're not selling the armor. Doesn't matter anyway, I guess. They give you no money for it, which is interesting. Oh, no, they give you money. That's just uses. Okay. Longsword... And... Rapier. Buy another longsword. The rapier. Um, should we buy magic? I don't think I need to yet, to be honest with you. Maybe be better off maybe buying a, uh... Man. Maybe this. And this. Now let's equip. Longsword. And... The rapier. And let's use agility. On... I just want to verify, I don't think that this works on mutants, right? Yeah. Tis accurate. Um... Let's use agility on... I guess Razor. Shit, dude, I didn't check his uh, stats before I did that. 10? Oh, I feel like that definitely did bump, so. That's good. And uh, we'll use the HP. We'll see if Razor's goes up at all. 60 currently. Went up. All right, cool. And now let's heal up. Perfect. Feeling pretty good right now. Feeling pretty good. I might want to save up for bows, but I'm starting to angle towards... Maybe... My next purchase should possibly be a magic book. I don't know. Because I feel like Lily's decent enough as is right now. You know what I'm saying? So maybe it's like a waste of time. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, let's journey to the Castle of Sword, which I'm thinking... I mean, we have a couple pit stops along the way. If we end up getting into some battles, I need to heal. We have this one coming up. Oh, wait, hold up, hold up. 
I have to move that shit. And yes, it appears that you would select the shield to, like, eat damage or whatever. Um... Let me see... How do I... Do I have to, like... I feel like there's a way to do it. Hmm... Other than literally the long way. <laughs> but we'll just do it the long way. Uh, that's fine. Actually, why isn't that up there? Hold on. Boom. 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 Okay. And actually, I would... Uh... No, no, I can't. Oh, well. I was trying to move the rapier up above the skills, but it doesn't look to be... Possible, which is fine. All right. Shoot, I might have enough money to buy something fucking in my pit stops here. I'm probably gonna pit stop at uh, Southtown, to be honest with you. That's the Shield Castle. I don't... Have I been to... The, I don't remember. Have I been to the Shield Castle or did I just go to Armor? Uh, I think that I haven't. But I'm gonna go to the Sword one first. That actually might be pretty sick now that I'm thinking about it. I might be able to get some uh, a free trip... So, like, if we go to the Castle of Sword, right, and we get the sword, we could equip it for a little while. Maybe. If it's consumable, that might fuck something up if I end up breaking it. But do you see what I'm trying to say? Because then I could take, like, an ultra beefy razor through the shield one. And in my opinion, the shield is clearly... I mean, I don't think it's just an opinion. I think it's pretty clear that the shield would be uh, the least useful thing out of armor and a sword. And yes, I'm kind of, like, dicking around a little bit, because I, I want to get some, uh, some gold, man. What are we at, 244? If I do two more fights, I could buy, like, a strength or an agility. And I could also heal, which is interesting. I'm wondering how many bosses are gonna have gimmicks like that, uh, that last one did. Where I got poison and shit. Oh no, Lily lost fucking a lot, dude. Good thing I bought that rapier. <clears throat> Alright, so we're at 324 now. Do one more and stop in the town. You know what? I'm gonna buy a magic book. <clears throat> I don't think I need to buff my uh, my party that much right now. You know what I'm saying? I think we're in a pretty good spot. I think in our best interest would honestly be doing a magic book because like right now, for example, Lily's only uh, attack is the rapier. ESP does like fucking nothing. I still have- I don't even know what ESP does, to be honest with you. Every time I used it early on at the jack shit, Oliver, uh... Watch my calls did nothing early on. Yeah, I, th I think it's time to buy a spell book. <clears throat> We're getting plenty of fights, so that's good. A lot of them are on the easier variety, too. Just piling up that gold, baby. Do -do 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 -do. Alright, how much do we have right now? 444. Were the magic spell books 300 or 500? I don't remember. Find out. Uh, 
you have these? Nope. Ice and electric. Wasn't there a fire spell, though? Was that in Town of Hero? Yeah, I think it was. Son of a bitch! Also, do I need rods to cast my magic? I don't know. Can certainly do a case study as soon as I buy the, uh... I'm in the mood for the fire. I think fire is always a very safe uh, early game spell, you know? I feel like it's like universal. It works on, you know, most enemies that, you know, eat physical damage, right? It also works on undead, usually. Let's see. I also want to make sure that I stop at the inn just to kind of replenish things. It is 500. Son of a bitch. <laughs> That's a lot of gold, but I do feel like it's a good investment, so we have to do another battle. Um, and what are we... Oh, we're gonna need 40 gold to fucking just heal Lily. So we're actually... Probably best that I do two battles. Maybe even three. Sadly. Like, we'll have enough to buy the book now, but I want to fully heal Lily, so... And also not be, like, dead broke, either. <clears throat> Come on! Somebody, anybody! <clears throat> there we go! Let's just go get our spell book. Oops. Okay. We'll buy fire. And we do have enough gold to fully heal, I believe, because I don't think anybody else got attacked. Perfect. And now let's check Lily. Fire. Okay. It's got 20 usages. So I feel like it's uh, obviously probably non replenishable, right? But 20, 20 is a decent amount, you know what I mean? That would be basically like probably. 20 random encounters, or maybe 15, 16 plus a boss fight, so can't complain about that. Uh, Alright, so my next uh, step is going to be heading towards the Castle of Sword, which is to the west of the Bandit's Lair, it looks like. Alright, let's head to the uh, Sword Castle. So to get there, I think we basically have to go through the South Town area once again. Should still be good. Yeah, we got plenty of stuff <clears throat> to get through there, I'm assuming. Which, along the way, we'll probably amass enough gold to replace any weapons that we may or may not need to replace afterwards, so I'm not really too concerned about that. So there's the bandit's cave. Um, <clears throat> how do I? Hmm. How do I get to where I need to go? Interesting. I 
take a look at the map here. <clears throat> Having trouble figuring it out, actually. So it looks like there's nothing but mountains <clears throat> that surround the cave. Um, hmm. There's like a weird alcove section by the base town. I'm wondering if maybe that's where I'm supposed to go. Holy Batman. Holy Batman. <laughs> Holy Encounters Batman. Again, bright side is, is, uh, shit, we're getting a lot of fucking battles, you know? By the time we get back to town, we'll get, like, another 200 gold. I feel like, uh, I feel like I should stop here. You know? Feel like I should. What are we rocking right now? Nobody's hurt. Well, Chloe can get five, uh, whatever's. Should I buy another bump up? I feel like I should. I mean, I can't really buy anything now anyway, right? Should I do HP? Yeah, I'll do. You know what? I'm gonna get two HPs. And we're gonna use one on. Raise. Hey, let's go. And then one on belly. Pretty fucking good. Now, unfortunately, I have to go outside and battle real quick uh, to replenish my HP and not be dead broke. But, again, feeling good. <laughs> so let's get a fight here. Perfect. Would prefer to goblin or whatever the fuck, but it's okay. Heath is okay. There we go. And let's rest at the end. Perfect. Ooh, I didn't check to see if uh, Lily's stuff changed. It did. Fuck, she doesn't know gas anymore. But we have rapier and fire, so that should be fine. Alright, so I want to leave here and head well, south first and then west. There's like empty spaces over to the west and I don't see how you can get there otherwise. So we're gonna poke around. Because like I said, everything surrounding the bandits lair in the south town area is literally just mountains. And there's a bunch of, like, paths basically leading to the sword castle. But it's all, like, out of sight. So I'm just assuming there's gotta be something over here. But we shall see. If I can't find my way in there, I'll just go to the uh, Castle of Shield and see what's going on. Alright, so what do we got? Let's save. Wait a minute. Oh, it looks like there's a... yeah, okay. Well, that was easy. <laughs> that was easy. This should bring me to where I need to go. There should be a couple bridges. Right. Perfect. This looks like it. Oops. Yeah, the stuff like Electro and Stench, it looked like it's supposed to be like a debuff move, but when I was using it earlier in the game, it did nothing at all. So I don't know. Who knows? that I'm suffering right now is I'm losing, you know, some durability, but 
I mean, I've already- I'm almost back up to 300 gold again. Oh yeah, you. You only got like 80 HP or some bullshit. I'm still gonna fight you though. Damn! I finally got damaged in a while. We could probably kill this DA. Alright. Time to save, and uh, yeah, let's head into the Castle of Sword. Looks like we have a maze here. Uh, do I feel like... I was gonna say, do I feel like bumping into these enemies? I don't know. Let's see how good fire is. Whoa! Okay, so first things first, the enemies seem tougher. I was like missing again, that's not good. Do I need to go? Tell me. Tell me. That I need to fucking... Go bump up my agility. I'll be hanging. I'll be hanging. Oh. Uh... I, I feel like there's no way. There's no fucking way. Oh my goodness, three goblins, huh? What I was trying to say before I got sidetracked there. Yo! Some of our people aren't attacking? Oh, never mind. I'm reading it wrong. There's three go There were three goblins, and they were missing. I got it. Okay. Reading is fundamental, people. But, uh, what I was gonna say was I'm pretty sure... Yeah. There's no fucking way that they would put that door... Or, excuse me, that passageway... You know, right off the bat and have it lead to where you need to go. Because pretty clearly, you know, whoever's sitting on the throne is, uh, our ultimate target. Lots of gold, though, man. I'm liking it. I'm hoping that the, uh, the boss <clears throat> is easily, uh, fucked up with fire. Like those enemies were. Woo! Loving the gold. Loving the gold. So it looks like this is probably the, uh, where we go. Um, I think I'm gonna use fire here to try to get through this unscathed and quickly. Awesome. Okay. <clears throat> What are we working with here? Full health, full health. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna use a potion on Lily. And, um. Yeah, I think. I think we're about as prepared as we could be, aside from, you know, we get our shit pushed in, and, you know, basically I go grind around a little bit more. Leave the castle, obviously, go grind a little bit more and bump up our stats, but uh, otherwise I think we're... I think we're good. I kind of wish that Lily had some different abilities right now. I don't even know if it's going to be worth it. Like I said, these were like potential debuffs from what I saw, but they weren't working early in the game. Maybe they would now because we're a little bit further on, but I don't know if I'd want to waste an attack turn, especially her with fire. But uh, there's really nothing to to do, but just try it, so let's see. King Sword. You must defeat me first if you want my sword. So unfortunately, uh, we're noticing a pattern here, is that the bosses have different names and different stats, but they look exactly the same as normal enemies, which is a little disappointing. Hope they change that later on. So we're gonna go that, 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 fire, and maybe we'll try horn? 29 damage. Oh, shit, dude. Oh! We're fucking him up, dude. I think he's dead already. Nice. 
Yo, that fire though, holy shit. Wow. Also, he's dead as hell. That's sad. <laughs> um, wow. Uh, a bit to digest there. Uh, I don't even think I need to heal him, dude. Oh, I got a lot of gold now. Wow, I got a lot of decisions on my hands. Sorry, I'm a little overwhelmed at the moment. Um, let's see if the sword has infinite uses. It does. Let's go. Let's go. I will gladly accept that. Cool. Obviously, we're gonna have to relinquish them at some point, but... Oh! A fucking Karateka! Alright, well, I'm not gonna hold back. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's up with you. I've never encountered you before in any capacity, so... Perfect. I mean, we could just buy another spell book at this point. Alright, what's up with you? I'll just bump into you. I'm brazen at this point. Ooh, this is the first time we've encountered, uh... Two at once, right? We'll do horn, I guess. Yeah! This might yield something good, I hope. 80? Nah, not really. It gave me some variety, and variety is the spice of life, right? So... You're in my way. Same shit. It's fine. Do horn again. Should kill that way we're at. Yep. We're gonna get good gold here too, dude. <clears throat> I think we should eat this. Nothing happened. That's fine. 160 gold. Man, we are raking it in right now. Let's go. Alright, so to find our way back out, we just gotta go kind of to the west and then south, essentially. I don't think that there was any, like, treasure chests in here. The last castle, we only got treasure when we, uh, did something, right? Or was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the castle of, uh, armor. Or was it in the bandit's lair? It was in the bandit's lair. That's right. There was, like, a door that unlocked or some shit. I don't remember. Huh. Okay, um, well, I guess we gotta go to the, uh, the shield, but we're gonna have to work our way back around anyway. Yo, what's up with this? I'm encountering tons of, like, uh, multiple enemy fights now. It's interesting. Like I said, I'm being a little... Ooh, I was being a little brazen. I thought I selected my, uh, fire, but I guess I didn't. It's fine. We will not eat the meat of the goblin. What I was gonna say was I, I could be a little bit brazen, right? Because I have so much more money now, but, um... Meh. Might as well save it. Man, the world's my oyster at this point. What the fuck am I gonna buy, man? First things first, we gotta heal up, but... I don't know. I might buy some more uh, spell books. Is my inventory gonna be full? I didn't think about that. Yeah, it is, isn't it? What's sphere? I saw something about sphere, but I can't remember like what it is. M might not have it yet. You know what I mean? I also have to hold on to the gold armor. I don't have to hold on to the long sword if I don't want to until later. I'm just thinking about equipment and blah 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 blah. Because I think my goal right now is I want to buy at least another spell book of some sort. Maybe ice or electric, I don't know. And then probably uh, an upgrade or two. Seems like a good idea to me.
Maybe even another rapier just to kind of, you know, get on the right track. I think I will. So the first pit stop, I don't recall if the town of Hero sells rapiers or not, so we're going to go to the base town first. I'm not going to heal there, just in case. I'll heal in the next place. That's the guild. That's locked probably until we put all the equipment on the statue, I'm assuming. Alright, what are we rocking here? Rapier, uh, ice and electric. Alright. Let's sell that for inventory space. Um, what's Lily got here? 22? Yeah, we'll unequip that and sell that as well. While we have the money, we might as well... See, this is bad. <laughs> Having, like, uh, weapons that break like that. Um, with the way that I am when I play games, I do shit like this all the time. Like, oh, we're at 22 out of 50. I'm scared. I better fucking bump it back up and waste my money. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> uh, let's sell the old one. And the old one of this. And buy a fresh rapier. And equip those. Long sword. And rapier. Oh, she can't even equip another spell book. But I could hold it, right? Or maybe I can. I feel like this is reserved for um, mutant abilities, though. I gotta have the rapier and the armor, honestly. I don't need two spell books equipped at the same time, but I think I should probably buy one. <sighs> Let's see. What shall I do? What shall I do? Ice or electric? Hmm. I don't know. Um. Let's go with the... Let's go with electric. And let's see if we can equip it to Lily or not. I don't know. No, I didn't think so. That's fine. We can hoard it. We have uh, inventory space now. All good. And now let's try to bump ourselves up a little bit, shall we? Let's get agility. Agility. HP. And HP. Maybe another HP. Oh, we're full. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Razor is at 10, and Belly is at 3. Okay, shoot. Belly? But he was at, what, 2, I said? Nice. Nice, dude. He's at 12 agility now. Perfect. you love to see it. Uh, let's buy two more HPs. We'll use another one on Razy. That's not a great bump, but I'll take it. And another on Belly. Now let's use, uh, not the remainder of our money, but the money that we have left over to fully heal. Which is actually kind of considerable, especially with the bumps we just got. And, uh, yeah, maybe I'll fucking... Just go over towards, uh, the Castle of S.H.I.E.L.D. where I save that crit, though. Oops. Alright, so the Castle of S.H.I.E.L.D. is basically right next to the Town of Hero. I'm feeling okay about our, um, our inventory right now, so... Not really worried about... My weapon situation, <clears throat> I feel like the bow, in theory, would be great, but, like, we're running out of inventory space, and I feel confident in what we have. Especially now that I have the uh, electric magic, too, on top of everything. Man, all these uh, easy-ass random battles, you're gonna make me fuck around and buy another HP potion. <laughs> I think I'm gonna... 
Let's get one more random encounter and I'm gonna go back in here and buy an HP potion. Use it on, uh, probably Belmont. Or, you know what, should I start going, like, Ultra Tank? I probably should. Because ultimately, the, the hero is the most important and most, uh, irreplaceable party member. Come on. Come on. Thank you. There's the inn. Might as well rest there right away. Bye bye. And let's. Where would that be? It would be over here. HP 200. What the fuck was a? Oh yeah, these were uh, like status curing things. That's right. Yeah, let's buy an HP 200. And let's use it on Razy. Woo! Pretty good bump. Pretty good bump. And now let's go heal. And you know what? I'm gonna fucking... I'm gonna take on the, uh, the Tower of Shield. Without cutting the footage. Without taking a break. We're just gonna go right into it. How about it? We will save, though. Oops. Also, anything change with Lily? Yes. Power. Is that an attack? Or is that buff? Is that a buff, a debuff, or an attack? I don't know. We might test that out. We might test that shit out. No special music in here? Oh, okay. You're not welcome- oh. What? <laughs> Alright, well. I guess we have to avoid, uh, everybody, or else we get kicked out. Be fucked up. Looks like we gotta go there. No! Oh man, what is this fucking Metal Gear Solid now? That's gonna be tough to get in there. I think I have to bait you out down here, right? Come on. Oh, this could be difficult. <laughs> this could be difficult. The king is... Oh! Dead. Hmm. Hmm. How nice. You've arrived just in time. Now I can frame you for the king's murder. Oh, shit! Alright, um... Let's attack you. Attack you. I don't know, man. I might just use fire. Fuck it. Horn. This should be a uh, one, a one cycle thing. I'm assuming. Yep. Nope. Alas. Did wait. Did he just disappear into the wall? The fuck. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Is this the steward again? I think so. Fuck you, dude. What's up? Ooh, wait. You want money? I'll give you anything. Even the shield. Okay. I see you. Let's just go straight attacks. See how this does. Whoa! So, strength is a buff, and it buffs you by 99? Are you kidding? That was also a very easy fight. You're scum. You make me sick. You get the king shield. Nice. Um... Shit, so now I think I have to go back to the, uh... The town of Hero and put all the king equipment. No, that means I gotta... Man... I think I have to take it all off, right? So now I'm gonna be a lot weaker. Hmm. Uh, that might be my cue. Let's see. So we have everything that we need, right? Let's unequip the king for the gold. And we need to actually buy another sword. 
save. Did they even sell the swords here? I can't remember. I don't think they do. Kind of a fucking bitch. Gotta go back to the hometown. Oh, honey. I guess I'll use that. <laughs> Why not? Should be an easy enough fight. Yep. Heal up. And we gotta buy ourselves a sword, fortunately. Long sword. Let's equip it. Full inventory. Hmm. Um We still got some decent amount of gold here. You know what? Let's go agility. No, let's go HP. Oh, I got full inventory, my bad. So we'll do agility. Hold on, I, I gotta uh, check here again. 10. Well, yeah, so 10. Boom. Boom. Oh, uh, that's all right. Uh, all right, we went up by two, so that's all right. I'm okay with that, those bumps. I'm okay with that. Definitely gotta heal up again. And now we can go back to um, the town of Hero. As my voice fucking crumbled there for some reason. And uh, put the stuff on the armor. I'm trying to think here. Do I be ballsy? Do I just do it? Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna go in here and do it. I'm sure it's gonna unlock a boss battle or something crazy, but... And then after I finish whatever is immediately in my future, I'm probably gonna call it a night. Something is missing from this statue. Okay, so how do I fucking put it on? Let's do this. There we go. I get the sphere. Oh. Um. Yeah. So what's up with that? Let me see. All right. I want to read about the sphere again, real quick, in the instruction manual. I don't remember anything about it. <laughs> Items. Special abilities. Uh, where the fuck? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I specifically remember reading this stuff, and now every time I go look for it, it's like... ...finding a needle in a haystack. Granted, in my defense, this is a pretty big fucking manual. Shouldn't it be under, like, special abilities and skills or items or something? What the hell, dude? Where is it? Um... Items. No. Where is the stuff about the sphere? Are we just collecting these, maybe? Do we use them? What the fuck just happened? I don't know what that was. I hope I didn't ruin anything. <laughs> uh, anyway. Okay. Gen Genbu. Here is another who has the three. I skipped it. Was it three items or some shit? I don't know. That's actually pretty cool. It's like a Brontosaurus lizard or some shit. All right, we'll do that. That. Uh, we'll buff and we'll do horn. Oh, so belly is doing no damage. That's wonderful. Let's do fire and horn. 
Yo, fire is OP as hell, dude. I'm like about to go buy another fire book. I think we're about to probably like three or four turn this dude. Fuck it. Oof. There we go. I think that was the first big boss battle, obviously, because we had a new sprite, we had a dramatic death animation. Ooh, 900 gold, let's go. Don't think it's over. No. Oh. Trust me, I don't. Um. For some reason, this person looked different to me, but I think I talked to them before. Oof, we got like a lot we could do right now. Hmm. <clears throat> so, let me think here. We went to the three castles. We did the bandit's lair. We've already been to all the towns. Although the... The base... Oh yeah, the tower. That's right, in the base town. That's right. Uh, fire and sleep. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna unequip fire. And I'm gonna sell fire. And then we'll buy fire. And we'll re-equip it. Maybe that was a waste. I don't know. Beginner's mistake, but we'll see. And I feel like I might want to buy... I'm debating, do I buy ice? Or do I kind of go in on uh, upgrade materials? Uh, let's do strong, agility, and HP. Well, I pretty much made my bed there. <laughs> um, all right, let's use HP on Razor again. Perfect. We don't have enough money to even fully heal ourselves, which kind of sucks, but... All right, Razor's agility is 12 and strength is 12. All right, we're gonna use uh, agility on Razor. Ooh, went up by three, nice. Uh, and Belly's strength is pretty low, so we'll use a strength potion on Belly. Respectable. Respectable. And now our next step is to go back to the main town, right? And we're gonna be going into, uh, that locked area. I like this game. It's- it's an odd game, but, uh, actually, I really do like it. I don't know how to put my finger on it. It's like, at times it can be overwhelming, at times it's very simplistic, it's like an interesting balance, and I'm finding myself uh, enjoying it quite quite a lot, actually. I'm sure at some point this game is going to have like a massive difficulty spike similar to the very beginning, where I'm like, fuck this game. <laughs> but for now, I'm enjoying it. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing this, by the way, is I want to heal my party members, so... I realize that I have potions, but I really don't like using them. I'm a hoarder when it comes to that type of stuff in RPGs, so... We'll do one more. We'll heal up, head in, save, right before the door of what I believe to be the tower. And I'm assuming, judging by the map, that that's probably the very last part of, um, of this part of the world, at least. Because there's, there's a bunch of different parts of the world, if you will. Different, well... They do have different color tints on the, uh, the map, but in this it'll look exactly the same. Color scheme-wise. Oh! You know Flame right now? Oh, it's too bad that, uh... Damn, that's, that's legit. That is legit. It's too fucking bad, man. You're not gonna be able to probably keep it by the time we go through the tower. I have a double flame action going on. At 164. Perfect, we're all healed up. Uh, I have a bunch of heals. I'm not too concerned with that. So yeah, I think uh, this is our next step. Let's save it, and I'm about to call it a night, but luckily for you guys, you'll be uh, seeing me in the tower right away.
All right, guys. I actually took a almost two-day break in between recording sessions here, so I wanted to fill you in before we go into the tower. Um, I did some grinding, as you can clearly see by the gold. <laughs> Uh, it wasn't super long. I don't know what it was. Maybe 25 minutes, a half hour. I don't know. Um, I went back to the uh, Castle of Sword to grind. Um, everybody has fully refreshed weapons. Um, I did not change Chloe. She didn't eat any uh, new meats or anything like that. Obviously, Lily went up a little bit. <clears throat> uh, I don't know what her abilities are right now. Oh yeah, she knows gas again. I don't know what stench does. I don't think I ever tried that one. Could be wrong though. But basically what we're gonna do, since we uh, still have a bunch of potions in the electric book, we're gonna buy probably, I don't know, a little bit of stuff. Let's see. Um, I think probably should buy some antidotes, right? And then maybe some eye drops. So let's sort. Okay, and now we will buy some upgrades. Uh, we'll buy a strong, an agility, and another agility, I think. No, oh, we're full. We're full. So let's see here. Who's weakest right now? It's 12, 10. All right, so we'll give... Uh, Belly the Strong. Let's check him out. Alright, he's now stronger than Razor. I'm gonna just give Razor the agility. I didn't check to see what his uh, thing was. I mean, I, I just saw it earlier, but I couldn't remember. It definitely went up a few, I think. Wasn't it like 15 or 16? I don't remember. But, uh... Let's now buy an agility. And an HP. We'll use the agility on Belly, <clears throat> It's currently at 12. By the way, I just need to make sure that I'm recording properly, because I remember I was fucking with OBS the other day. It looks like we're good. Um, alright. So, let's use this here. And now let's check. Belly's now up to 15, so that's good. And we'll use HP, obviously, on Razor. That's a pretty good bump. It was actually almost 20. Wow. And we'll buy two more. And I think I'll leave the gold for that for now. We'll use another one on Razor. Not as good there. And we'll use one on Belly, who now broke the uh, 100 threshold. So with all that being said, it is now time to heal up. And I believe that we use our sphere. Let me save. Oh, we don't have to use a sphere. We have it on our person, so I guess that's it, right? All right. I like the music in here. Hmm. No random encounters yet. Oh, speak of the devil. Alright, so I'm gonna go out on a limb. Well, not really much of a limb, I suppose, but I bet you that these enemies can poison you. I feel like other than that one boss, we haven't really encountered anything with status afflictions, and since this is probably... what I would refer to as the first main dungeon proper, that's probably what, what the case is, right? Let's use Nail. Uh, I don't know how much HP this thing has. We did 23 damage so far. Lily is a fucking monster. Whoa! 120 gold! Mm, I'm gonna have to... <laughs> Guys, when grinding, so to speak, is relatively easy, it's hard for me to resist. It's so hard for me not to just sit here for 30 minutes and kill a bunch of things that give 120 gold. But... I won't, alright? I promise. This is weird. A weird layout, huh? Ooh, it's an Oni. Alright, so we got fifth I mean, most of this doesn't matter. Lily is so strong, dude. 
I don't know if I got lucky or that's just like the uh, the typical growth for um, mutants, but holy fuck. Like I almost don't even need anybody to attack. Look at this. Almost one-shotting. And just like that we're almost back up to uh, 500 gold, which is crazy to think about. Hmm. What's through here? Uh, where the fuck am I? Does this come up on my map? Let me look. There's a bunch of trees. Almost looks like a tropical area? <clears throat> oh, are we in... Oh, we're in the next world. That can't be accurate though, right? I feel like we have to finish the tower. But uh, the next world is the world of ocean. And I'm seeing a bunch of those trees. But it looks a little different? I don't know, let's look around. What is this? I don't know what that is, but something tells me we might be back there later. Uh... Huh? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm confused. Is there nothing here? Oh! Did that just heal me? I mean, I don't really know because I didn't get hit yet. Anyway, that must have been a midway point healer, I guess? I haven't encountered any enemies around here, so it seems like what it is. Anyway, doesn't look like there's anything else there, so let's continue on. Gargoyle. Okay, so I think here I'm gonna use gas. And that should be it. Ooh, this is tempting, guys. I haven't had Lily eat anything, or uh, Chloe eat anything lately. Let's go for it. Change to a condor. Alright. Let's see. Beak and resistant to quake, I guess, right? Um, what are her stats? They're not great, to be honest with you. I mean, everybody pales in comparison to Lily, Jesus. Lily's a fucking tank, dude. I wonder if, like... I can't... I remember reading at the beginning of the game that humans are, like, the most well-rounded characters, right? And I think that... Monsters... One of the classes, either mutant or monster, starts out quick and fizzles out. That might be the mutant, judging by the fact that Lily's so good right now. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Uh, is there anything over here? That's really weird that they designed it like that. There's gotta be something in one of them, right? Oh, we have another... Ooh, we got a... Bunch of different ways to go here, huh? We'll gang up on that. Oh, that's the pea frog, dude. I didn't realize that. We can get poisoned here. We could very easily get poisoned. So let's do this, 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 and this. Ooh, pea frog meat. I'm going for it. Nothing happened. Dude, we're racking up the gold. Unreal. Oh! Oh! What the hell? Sorry for saying oh so much, but <laughs> what the hell's going on? Oh my goodness. Um... Okay. Let's do uh, one thing at a time, I guess. Let's focus on... The dragonfly, I suppose. Right? And then we'll beat this guy. Oh, this is gonna be a tough fight, huh? Oh yeah. We're in for a little bit of trouble right now. 
Okay. Okay. And do that, and do that. Also, again, apologies. Uh, it's in the middle... Well, not the middle of the day, it's like 5 o'clock, so the cats are... roaming around upstairs and fucking with anything. Anything that has a pulse. And sometimes things that don't have a pulse, like dead plant leaves. So, if you hear any banging, that's what it is. You're just gonna get it until I get my own studio, like I said. Occasionally you're gonna have to deal with it. Um, I'm tempted to eat this. Transfer to an alb- What? We just changed into an albatross after all that? That's kind of whack. Um, yeah, I'll top off. Save. I can't forget that I have my flame as well. Is this a maze, by the way? Oh, we have a treasure chest. <laughs> we have a treasure chest. All right, let's go here, here. Fire and beak. Oh, that's right, dude. I forgot about that. Fuck. But I don't think poison... I don't think poison carries outside of battle unless it was different because, um... Whatchamacall. Because it was a boss, you know what I mean? Well, we'll find out soon. And if we all get poisoned, we're going to be resetting because I only have three antidotes. Let's see. I'm gonna cancel. What are we at right now? 171? Nope, we're good. Okay. The fuck is Colt? I have no idea what Colt is. Oh, is it like a- is it a Colt Python? Because I remember that there's guns in this game. Um... I think it might be. Should we- should we equip it? I think we should. Let's, uh, equip it to, uh... Let's equip it to Belly. <laughs> we'll see what this does. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oof! This is gonna be a little rough. Um, let's attack you, and then let's do the Colt, and let's actually do fire on these guys, and beak. Let's see here. No damage. Ooh, the, yeah, it is a gun. It must be a Colt fucking, uh, Python. That's crazy. Well, I don't really want to, like, use anymore. I kind of want to save it for, uh, like a boss, but... Ooh. Paralyzed, huh? Ooh, I'm not eating that. No thanks. Alright, now is... <clears throat> Chloe's... Okay, so it seems like almost every status condition does not follow you out of battle, which is... Good to note. But, uh, we're gonna save the cult for a potential boss battle. I feel like that the game would be very upfront, you know what I mean? Not drop you immediately into a boss, but you never know. <sighs> I'll fight, but I'm not a huge fan of this battle, to be honest with you. We're just gonna gang up on one thing at a time. Let's go here, here, rapier, and here. Okay. Taking a little bit more damage than I want, to be honest with you. Let's do this, this, we'll do rapier on you, and this. So the condor should be dead this turn. I'm assuming. I was afraid of uh, running away from that one, you know? We're a ghoul now. Nail. Oh, nice. That's uh, like paralyzer poison fangs, I think. We're weak to fire. 
So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully whoever's in here doesn't know any fire magic. I feel like we're probably getting close to the end of this uh, particular tower, but who knows. Uh, it's also very weird when um, when you go up floors and stuff in this game, sometimes you'll be facing the, the same way that you went up, so it's like awkward. out the fire. <clears throat> Hopefully we don't get poisoned. Nice. <laughs> Should I get the worm? I don't think so. Dude, we're raking in the gold right now. There's a door. Is this an enemy? Probably is. No? Look for the old man. Okay. I don't, is that a healing thing? Oh, nice. Door is locked by magic of blue. Oh, okay. So it looks like we're going to need a blue sphere. Hmm. Okay. Tis fine. Let's, uh... Actually, let's just use... Well, yeah, fuck it. I gotta stop. I gotta stop that. I gotta stop the whole hoarding of things, you know what I mean? Like, I'll be like, oh, I better not use fire, because I'll need literally all these later, aka never use them. Oh, nice. It did paralyze. Cool. Oops. Pretty fucking cool. Uh, should we eat that? I kind of like the ability to uh, paralyze. I'm going to stick as the ghoul for a little while. Alright. It now looks like that we are indeed in the uh, ocean world. Or as it is dubbed on the back of the uh, the poster here. 5F, the world of ocean. So we made it through the first tower, but we're going to have to go back through the tower. So I'm wondering... I'm wondering if the tower starts in the opening world and continues to go up all the way through, but as you go further and further, you need different spheres, and then you have to branch off into different worlds to find different spheres, and then you have to go back. You know what I'm trying to say? I mean, that's clearly the case for the first two areas, the opening world and the world of ocean, but I don't know. I guess that remains to be seen. We have a lot of gold, though, so I'm interested to see the, uh, the layout of this town. And, uh, you know... What can we buy?